Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all of my favorite bronzers. Now I have quite a few here. I have 10 to be exact. Bronzer season is definitely upon us. So I really hope that you guys are gonna enjoy this video and find it helpful. Of course, let me know what your favorite bronzers are in the comments. Literally name me all of them. I wanna know your favorite creams, your favorite powders, your favorite liquids. Name me some bronzers that maybe you're not so fond of. So that's basically it. I'm gonna stop blabbing and let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start off with one of the bronzers that I'm wearing on my face right now and yes, I'm wearing more than one bronzer on my face and this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer and this one in particular is in the shade 10. The main reason why this Bare Minerals bronzer is one of my favorites is because of how natural it looks. This is actually quite a sheer formula so it is very buildable. You can either start off with just a very like sheer wash of color all over your face if you just want a very subtle bronze look without looking too over the top or you can build this product up in order to get something a little bit more intense. Bronzer is probably one of the only makeup items that I am like totally okay with if the pigmentation isn't that strong because I really hate it when I just dip my brush into a bronzer. I'm not even like scraping into it. I just like lightly tap the surface and then I go in to apply it to my cheeks and it's just like a streaky orange mess because the powder is so pigmented and powdery that it just applies a little bit too heavy to the skin. So because this particular product is sheer and buildable, you are able to like layer the product very slowly in order to get your desired intensity but even if you apply like multiple layers of this stuff, it will never look like you are wearing too much bronzer. It won't look like you're wearing like a ton of powder on your face. This powder also has like a little bit of a subtle glow. It's definitely not completely matte. So it does add a little bit of like a sheen to your skin, which is so pretty, especially in the summertime. So that is why this is definitely one of my all time favorite bronzers. So now moving on to the second bronzer that I'm wearing on my face. And this is the Cover FX bronzer in the shade Suntan. Again, there are multiple shades in this range. I believe there are three different ones. This is the middle one. There is one lighter and one darker. Now I'm actually using this product to contour a little bit so you see like this little shadow right in my cheekbones that is suntan so this particular bronzer is matte and it's also a little bit more on the cooler side you could really see the tonal difference when I compare it side by side to the bare minerals bronzer the bare minerals one has way more red in it whereas the cover effects one definitely leads a little bit more neutral and there's not really much red in it this one is great because it does add some warmth to your skin but it's not too warm. This is a bronzer that is a little bit more on the pigmented side, so you gotta be a little bit careful going into it. But even when I find that I apply a little bit too much of this, I do find that I am able to blend it out like so easily. That is the Cover FX Suntan Bronzer, and that is why I love it. So now I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite liquid bronzers. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun bronzer serum. Now I have spoken about this on my channel quite a few times. If you've been around for a while, then you've definitely heard of this product before. Now liquid bronzers in and of themselves could sometimes be a little bit tricky. Um, I find that some of them could be a little bit more difficult to blend out um, and they'll start to like set even before you get a chance to blend out. So you'll end up with something that looks a little bit patchy. And um, I do find it is difficult to find a really great liquid bronzer that just, you know, blends out seamlessly and really gives you that beautiful natural bronze look because what's really great about liquid bronzers is that it gives you probably the most natural looking bronze look like if you just want to look like you've been kissed by the sun even on a no makeup makeup day then a liquid bronzer is definitely going to be your guy because instead of it looking like something's just like sitting on top of your skin a liquid bronzer really does become like one with the skin and it just looks extremely extremely natural so back to the serum bronzer the reason why i love this one Firstly is because of how easily it blends out. This is considered to be a serum, so it's not as thick or liquidy as something like the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, which I will be talking about a little bit later. It's more on like the thinner, serum-y side. So because of that, it just blends out just effortlessly. And I also find that it doesn't set down too quickly, so you do have a lot of play time to sort of move it around. And of course, the shade of it is beautiful. I really love how warm it is, and it's warm without it being like orange. And so I now I'm gonna jump back to powder because I like to keep you guys on your toes. So you may see a little bit of like a theme running through my videos. I really, really love very natural looking skin products. I love products that look like they're a part of the skin rather than just sitting on top of it. So you'll notice that a lot of my recommendations um, go along that theme. So this Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion 
bronzer definitely lands in that category. So this is another powder that applies to the skin more on the sheer side. So like I said with the Bare Minerals one, you could build this up to something more intense or you could keep it nice and natural and sheer. But what's so beautiful about this particular bronzer is the actual texture of the powder. When you touch it, it does not even feel like powder. It almost feels sort of like a gel-like, cream-like formula. So if you're somebody who may be intimidated by creams or liquids, but you still want the look that creams or liquids give you, then I think this is actually a really great option because it does give a very similar look. This bronzer range actually has a lot of different shades and a lot of different finishes. This one in particular is in 20M and it is definitely my favorite because it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not sparkly, so it gives your skin a very, very subtle glow. So now moving on to my all-time favorite drugstore bronzer, which I think is actually not now that I think of it, a pretty good dupe for the Makeup Forever bronzer that I just showed you. And you may be able to guess this, but it is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Now I've never realized it up until now, but this butter bronzer has basically the exact same formula of the Makeup Forever bronzer that I just showed you guys. It has that same almost like gel-like texture to it. It's not extremely powdery. And I even feel like this is even softer like it has even more of like that very soft creamy finish to it now i really don't want to repeat myself too much and use the same adjectives over and over and over again but this butter bronzer basically has the exact same qualities that the makeup forever bronzer has and i mean you also can't get over the scent of the stuff it sort of smells like a tropical paradise has a very strong like coconutty scent which is honestly really pleasant i typically don't love scents in my makeup products but this one i could really get into if you're wondering i use the shade light and right now this is actually a little bit too light for me i am definitely going to be picking up the one that's a little bit darker but i was using this a lot in the winter when i was at my fairest because this shade does work really well if you are a bit more on the fair side because the color itself is warm but it's not like orange or red so jumping back to liquid bronzers so this is the cover effects um custom enhancer drops and this one is in the shade Oh god, it's totally rubbed off. Sun-kissed. Yes, sun-kissed. <laughs> also, another really great way to use a liquid bronzer is to mix it in with your foundation. Now, when I want to use a liquid bronzer to mix into my foundation, I always go for my Cover FX drops. Again, just because these are not too warm or too red or too orange, it just mixes in really perfectly, just giving my um, foundation just a little bit more of like that bronzier glow, just to, like boosts it up a bit. And I never use more than one drop, by the way, because these things are potent. The only con that I would say about this product is that it does set very quickly. So this is one of those liquid bronzers that you have to work very quickly with. Otherwise it could potentially look a little bit patchy if you don't blend it out fast enough. So next I've got another powder here that I think is great for both bronzing and contouring similar to the Cover FX Suntan Bronzer. So this one is from the Sephora collection and it is in the shade Los Cabo. So this is another matte bronzer and I'm going to compare it actually to the Cover FX one so that you guys can see that they are fairly similar to each other. So Suntan from Cover FX just seems to be a little bit deeper but they are sort of like the same type of idea where it's like a neutral bronzer that can be used for both contouring and bronzing. So this is just another option that I wanted to share with you guys because this is also pretty affordable, especially for a brand that's sold at Sephora. So now let's talk about a cream bronzer and this is, I believe, fairly new. It's from Benefit and it is called the Hula Quickie Contour Stick that I probably would never contour with because this product is very warm. I'm going to swatch it for you guys right over here. You can see it's a very, very warm product, perfect for a bronzer, but definitely not to contour. Now, it's very similar to liquid bronzers. Cream bronzers could also be a really big pain in the ass to blend out. Sometimes they could just look a little bit patchy depending, of course, on the formula, but I really love the formula for this little stick over here because it does blend out so nicely. Sometimes cream products can be a little bit too dry or too stiff, so they could be more on the difficult side to actually blend out and look flawless and smooth on the skin, whereas this one is actually very easy to manipulate. So I'm gonna show you guys with the swatch that I swatched just before. Look how easy it is to just like move around even after sitting on my skin for a few seconds. Bam. What's really great about this product is that once you blend it out, it almost has more of like a powdery finish to it. So it's more of like a cream 
to powder formula. So that means that if you have oily skin and products like these sort of scare you because they feel like they're not just gonna combine well with your more oily skin type and you feel like they're probably just like not gonna stay, this one will because it does dry down to that powdery finish and it does not feel wet or sticky whatsoever. It will not make you look more oily than you are. It will simply just blend into the skin and like disappear like it wasn't even there. So those are all of my thoughts on the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick that I would not contour with. So the last two products that I have to talk about are actually both from Hourglass. Hourglass probably has the most finely milled powders that I have ever tried and because they are so finely milled, they just combine with the skin perfectly. And I also just really appreciate the subtlety that the Hourglass powders have. They're not in your face or too intense and that really goes for all their powders in every single one of the ranges that they have um, and their bronzers are really no different. I also love how these powders look on mature skin, again, because they just sort of mesh with the skin so well, they don't accentuate fine lines. So I have two favorite bronzers from the bronzer collection, the first one being Nude Bronze Light, and this is a matte shade. So like I said, I do really appreciate the subtlety that a lot of the Hourglass powders do have. This powder is definitely not gonna give you like a very intense bronze look, but it's still going to warm up your skin. So I've been really enjoying this on the days where I'm like literally not wearing any makeup like I'm not talking about my no makeup makeup day I'm talking about like no makeup is on my face and sometimes I do like to apply this just sort of dusted all over my face just to give me a little bit of color so that I don't look completely dead and because it is so subtle and because it's matte it just sort of works for a look like that so another one of my favorites and probably my favorite of the two is this one over here this is called luminous bronze light so this one in particular has the luminous powder running through it and then of course you have the bronzing shade in here as well so this one is not matte at all this definitely has much more of like a sheen to it 99% of the time I do not like it when my bronzers have shimmer in it just because I find that most brands don't really do shimmer in bronzers right I find a lot of the times I just look like a disco ball mess and it's really not usually the look that I like to go for but I mean it's hourglass and hourglass knows how to do subtle and the shimmer in this product is so fine and so subtle that it's not like overbearing or obnoxious. It really just sort of adds to the glow that the powder already has. I just wanna apply a little bit to my cheeks so that you guys can see. So this is before, my skin's already pretty glowy. Hopefully you guys will be able to see the difference. You see how it bronzes on my skin just a little bit more and it also adds that little bit of an extra sheen. So there you go. That's what the product looks like on the skin. Of course, it's layered on top of like two other bronzers, but I feel like you guys probably get the point. So that completes today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Again, do not forget to let me know some of your favorite bronzers down in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. It gives video a big thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.